With Jeff Houston, I'm Drew Goodman, and we welcome the Rockies' number one pick this year to the booth at a little Overland Park, Kansas, fourth selection overall, Riley Pike. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's probably been a whirlwind uh, several days for you, I imagine. Yeah, it's been it's been pretty crazy, but it's all been really fun. And I, I have to tell you, before we fire some questions at you, I was very, very impressed, and I told Billy Schmidt, this uh, Rockies vice president of scouting, how well you handle yourself. I mean, you're 18 years old. You're not used to a bunch of microphones and cameras in your face. You're used to guys <laughs> pointing radar guns at you, but but not all of those uh, cameras. I thought you did very well. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Were you I have to nervous? Give... Uh, I mean, I was a little nervous. I mean, I feel like I give most of the credit to my parents just because they've you know helped me through this tremendously, and they've always been there for me with any questions I've ever had or anything like that. So it's all been great. I saw your sister there as well. What's the age difference between you and your sister? Uh, we're 16 months apart. Okay. Yeah. So okay. she's uh, she's going to be a sophomore in college. Very good. Well, you're getting to see Chad Bettis, who went to Texas Tech as a second round pick. Ike Davis hits it in the air to fairly deep left field. Ray Burner on the track in front of the wall now. That ball carried. We'll make the catch one out. When you first walked into Coors Field, I imagine you've been to Kauffman Stadium quite a bit. Mm -hmm. First time to Coors Field? Yeah. Oh, it was it was awesome. I mean, just the whole stadium just looks beautiful right when you walk in, and just the atmosphere that we had last night. I mean, it was just tremendous. What well, did some guys come up to you and talk to you? Yeah, I met a few players last night, and you know, met all the front office guys and everything. So it was awesome. I met Jason Mott this morning, which was unbelievable. I mean. I've always, you know, watched him pitch when I was a kid and everything. So now that I'm actually getting to meet him, it was just did you an awesome experience. Did you make sure you told him that I watched you when I was a kid, just to kind of rub it into him a little bit? I didn't. I didn't say that. <laughs> I said I told him a good job last night, and that I really looked up to him. So that's all I said. He, he's a great guy. He's a character when, when he's on the mound. You don't. You don't have any of those antics yet going. Do you? you? Don't talk to yourself on the mound, do you? No, not yet. But uh, last night it was pretty pretty cool to watch him come in and shut the door. So I, I literally looked up to that. Well, you have good size. You're six four, and, and I know that they're going to get beat on you over the next uh, couple of years. Carlos Estevez, who closed out that night, is like you. He's got a big arm. He's a big, sturdy guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he. I mean, he looked great last night. I mean, his fastball was just electric as it is usually, and then his changeup was really good last night. He struck out a couple of batters, so that was great. This guy's pretty good at third, isn't he? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. he's great. <laughs> Have you always been able to throw? harder than everybody else uh, I mean ever since I was a kid I was kind of throwing you know harder I guess but uh, I mean sometimes that when I got older I feel like it really started to uh, you know kind of work its way out for me like I started throwing a little more harder every year than uh, when I was younger and I just continued to throw hard but you weren't one of those eight-year-olds that was just scaring everybody were you uh, no I was usually just you know right with the pack you know especially like this since my uh, freshman year in high school is when I, really when I started to, uh, you know, kind of separate. separate myself yeah. a little bit, you know, start mixing in more pitches and throwing, it, uh, you know, my stuff for strikes. Do you remember the, the first time that you hit 100? I can't believe I'm saying that because I've never heard of a high school kid hitting 100. But I know you, you got up to 102. Do you remember the first time somebody said, we got you at 100 on uh, that pitch? Yeah, uh, it was actually uh, last winter. We were uh, had like a little showcase kind of for uh, where we work out at. And, you know, some scouts were there and everything. But uh, I, I didn't learn until after that I, uh, they told me that I threw 100. So, I mean, it was <laughs> it was uh, kind of a cool moment. So I was pretty awesome. I'll tell you what, we're going to keep you around for another inning because Chad Bettis is dealing nine set down to begin the uh, ball game for Chad. Rockies will have the top of the order when we come back. More with Riley Pine in a moment.